shifting gears to Southern California right out of the gates. One of my favorite young athletes to talk to is Cassius Thomas. Now, Cassius, talented right-handed pitcher, top 10 amongst right-handed pitchers in the 2022 class, and Duke commit. My friend, good to reconnect. Thanks for spending time with us, Cassius. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. It's always an honor to be talking with you. You are one of those athletes that the pandemic of 2020 actually allowed you to grow. You went to a school in Sierra Canyon in California that safely opened up a lot. They were about the athlete. They were about the training. You actually focused on the tiny little things in 2020 to allow you to get better as a pitcher. Expound upon that. Yeah, so Sierra Canyon, we were very fortunate to have our field open and be able to practice every day. And I took full advantage of that, going out, playing catch every day, long toss, bullpen. And I really, it really gave me the opportunity to work on my mechanics. And over the period, I was also able to work with Dave Stewart a few times to really help me to expound on my, my pitching ability and clean up some things with my mechanics. Stu was on the show last week. That's funny you'd mention, and we loved having him on specifically because you had a great summer of 2021. Velo in the fall touched 95 miles an hour. Specifically, one or two things that you really tightened up about your mechanics. Uh, it would have to be my leg lift. I shortened it and made it more compact as opposed to my kind of straight up, long, in a way, loopy leg lift that I had before. And that has allowed me to gain more power and uh, I'll gain more command, I'd say, as well. What's fun about hanging out with you is that you balance your life. Your parents have made it clear, Kevin and Katina, that academics will be a part of it. And look, if Duke brings you to school, if they recruit you and bring you in, academics have been a part of your life. The senior year can be the coast year at times. It's not the coast year for you. Tell me about your rigors that you're taking on. I know you didn't give up all APs, so what are you taking in the classroom? Yeah, it's, it's no joke. I'm taking AP Calc and AP Chemistry right now in my senior year and <laughs> and still maintaining. I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm still keeping that high GPA. Like you said earlier, education is very important in my family, and uh, we're going to keep that going whether I get drafted or go to college. Well, what is that high GPA, by the way? What, where, are we, where are we going? We're a big stats show. Well, what's that GPA? Yeah, I think uh, my cumulative right now is a 3.9. Amazing. Amazing. Hey, help me understand a little bit for those who haven't heard your story as you're growing up in California, that the, the MLB Breakthrough Series finds you, you find them. As a matter of fact, through the Youth Academy in Compton, you go and you start playing some baseball. Well, you've been to huge events since then. You, you've been to great events around the country, the Hank Aaron, uh, the Dream Series, which that's where you and I met one another. Explain to me the relationship that you have with MLB as it tries to continue to raise the African-American presence in baseball and how much you've enjoyed it. The Breakthrough Series and MLB have been crucial to my development, to say the least, and crucial to me growing as a person. Being and playing with them has allowed me to work with high-class coaches like Marvin Freeman and LaTroy Hawkins and really just help me to grow my baseball knowledge and, and grow as a player. And then the other side of that is also meeting other African-American players and having that bond with them that really, it's really a brotherhood. It's just amazing to have. Locally, you give back too. Club 42 is a great group. I don't know if you knew this, but I know them very, very well. Tell me a little bit about Club 42 locally, how you've brought into the classroom, onto the field, those who might not want to be able to play. You've been a big part of it. Tell me about your vision and how you've helped out Club 42 and how maybe they've helped you. Yo, well, let me start from the beginning. Club 42, I've been playing with them for years. I mean, since I was maybe 13 years old. So we've done, I've done a lot of stuff with them. We've done even a few community service things and just always looking to give back to the community. And Club 42 has done an excellent job at that. And then again, great coaches and great people on that team and made really lifelong connections. So I, I send a big thank you to 42. Hey, photography. I got to know everything about where you're at, your passion for grabbing a camera, taking it where you go. Uh, what drew you into that art and what do you plan to do with it? Man, I've, I've always kind of liked photography. I'm not really sure where this this passion sprouted from, but ever since I was in, I say even middle school, I was asking my parents to get me a camera. And I just go out and be taking pictures of really anything I could find that looked nice. And I carried that on with me into high school. So 
I take pictures of my friends all the time. I even have a old video camera now. If you go in my room, there's about 10, 12 cameras just sitting on a shelf. I have old VHS cameras. I got new ones. But I just like to kind of, in a way, vlog uh, what I'm doing, just going out with friends so I can look back at it one day and uh, maybe show my kids even. But it's just a, something I really have fallen in love with. So after you pitch in the big leagues for 15 years and then you go into the uh, the Netflix world of creativity, hire me, okay? okay? I'll be ready to work for you. Can you do that? Absolutely. No problem. Thank you, Cassius. We really appreciate your time. Always love reconnecting with you. Thank you. It was great being here.